One of my favorite things to do as an Amazon seller is to test out different sourcing software tools. And today I'm gonna to be doing a full demo of Arbitrage Hero specifically for the online arbitrage sourcing tools that it provides. Now in the past on this channel, I've done full demos on Nepeto and Arbisource, and I'm gonna do more on Tactical Arbitrage and other tools. But Arbitrage Hero is one that I've used quite extensively and I've trained people on how to use it as well. I've created systems around it for my Evergreen Sourcing System program. And I'm really excited to be able to talk about it today because this is a great way to not only have a bunch of leads that are found and matched for you to suppliers that you can go purchase these products from, but it's also a great way to find a bunch of ASINs or a bunch of products using the Keepa Product Finder and then reverse source those inside of Arbitrage Hero. And so I'm going to do a full breakdown of all of these different OA tools here, the 24-hour vault, analyzing products, reverse search, and then the favorited products. And we can talk about some of these others as well because uh, Arbitrage Hero does have some other cool features like daily deals and Google Chrome. Chrome extensions and other things. So we'll get into that, um, you know, as we move along. In terms of Arbitrage Hero, if you're interested in checking them out and utilizing their free trial, you can head over to askjimmysmith.com forward slash hero, check out their pricing plans. And again, it never hurts to try free trials. That's why I do these videos, because I think it's fun to try different sourcing tools and see what works for me, what works for my business. And you can decide what works best for your business between all the different sourcing tools out there. Arbitrage Hero, I want to go ahead and talk about some of the stores that they actually have access to. So in the United States, they've got a bunch of stores. Some of these are going to be different than some of the other sourcing tools out there. And so that's why this is so helpful because maybe you have the finances to be able to pay for a bunch of different sourcing tools because you want access to different stores. That's totally fine. Or maybe you just want to go in, utilize the free trials and see what you like the most. But here's all the stores uh, in the United States that Arbitrage Hero has access to. One of the things that I want to make sure that you're aware of, you can see all the different products that are a part of those stores. So let's just choose a common one here. Let's see if I can find on AutoZone, okay? So there's 450 total products from AutoZone. Three of those match a high score, which that would mean a profit of two or an ROI of 20 here. Five of them are a medium score and 27 have a low score. And so that's where you're gonna find a fairly large difference is what are the ones with the best scores that match very well that also have a decent enough profit and return on investment. And so a store like Barnes & Noble has 7,889 high scores. So if I was going through arbitrage, hero, I would want to go to the stores that I know of first, and I would want to see the ones that have the most high score items because they're going to have the highest potential for me to be able to go in, find them, and actually want to buy them and send them in. Now, the medium scores can be fine. The low scores can be fine, depending on what you're trying to source. But this high score does help you to kind of tailor down which stores to even look at. You know, if you're considering Bass Pro Shops, there's 400 high score products according to their scoring system, whereas Bath & Body Works only has 10. That's totally fine. You can go through the Bath & Body Works products, but knowing that Bass Pro Shops has way more is going to be helpful for you to be able to utilize that. Now, let's say that you're interested in looking at the Bass Pro Shops products. I, mean, I can just simply click on this and it's going to bring me to the arbitrage sourcing tool here already preloaded with Bass Pro Shops. We can see if I scroll down out of all of the entries, let's see, there are 285 products that pulled back and that's within my search filters and parameters. You can create a new filter here. So if I can click on this, I could say I want to see a BSR under 5%, a bestseller rank under 5%, or I could actually just uh, get rid of the BSR percentage and do, I want to see a max BSR of, let's just go with 300,000. And that way I'm narrowing down this list to 300,000 maximum of a sales rank. I'm going to have it show a suppressed buy box. I don't care about the sales rank drops. Minimum return on investment. Let's just say I want to see anything that has a profit of 10% or higher, just so that I can filter through that. I don't care about a max ROI. Maybe I want to see a minimum profit of $2. All right, we're going, we're going uh, far and wide so that way we can look at all the products and analyze them, especially if you're somebody that um, does any of the above the buy box training that I've covered on this channel before as well. Now, minimum sellers, we can just leave this fairly wide open, excluding Amazon, no, out of stock percentage, no, but you can see all the different filters you can put in. Another great thing is you've got a discount percentage. So let's say you've got this and you knew Bass Pro had a 10% discount on all of the products. Well, I could come in here and say, hey, I've got a 10% discount on everything at Bass Pro shops. So I'm gonna leave that for this particular filter today. And then you can exclude categories if you know you're gated in them or keywords, and you can save this as a custom filter if you wanted. Now, if you didn't have the discount percentage, for instance, you could put this in as some sort of leads finding filter or something like a replens finder filter or apply these filters and have it kind of uh, populate all of the items. So we had over 200 prior to that. Now we have 43 entries that meet my current filters that I have inside of here. And so I could simply go through and just click through each one of these and look to see if I want to purchase them. You can see that there's a nice little keep a chart preloaded in here 
here so you can see that I personally would want to take a look at both whether it's uh, you know on Amazon so that way I can see everything that is in there or in the keep a chart so that way it's easier for me to analyze let's take a look at what this one actually looks like it's fairly good only seems to have one seller though so I would be a little bit more cautious on that I would want to check out who the seller is and if this is more of a wholesale product or not this is the way that you can do it right you can just open that up you can also then open up the supplier make sure everything matches properly and you can go from there on your regular sourcing now that's just one way to use the supplier feature that I just mentioned in this case we would have had to pick the correct color for the minnow lure here but ultimately it did match these products up for us now uh, that's one way that I can use the suppliers another thing that I can do is come through and I can add them to favorites okay now the point of adding things to favorites is so that then you can download them in the future all right now if I wanted to export all of these leads import them into a lead tracker such as replan dashboard or sourceflow.io or 3p mercury if I favorite all of these then I can simply come over to the online arbitrage section here click on favorite products and then I can export all of those different leads by clicking on the CSV button right here and then that's when I can import that to my lead tracker so then I'll have the supplier I'll have the ASIN I'll have the buy cost etc and then I can track those on my own lead tracker or you can simply leave them on the favorite section here and have it to continue to check through them and update that information for you as you would need to so that's just one way to use arbitrage hero by simply clicking on the stores and then going through each one of these you can just click on the store name and take a look at those products very simple to do here's all the different stores that they have in the United States I mean there's hundreds of them at this point and I really appreciate that now do your own due diligence with these stores because you never know there could be one or two of them that maybe you wouldn't want to purchase from because you're not as comfortable with like I've never heard of style Vanna it could be a great supplier but I would want to do some double checking to make sure it was an authorized supplier for uh, my business's own safety on Amazon okay so that's one way that you can do it you can also simply come into the online arbitrage if you want to look at any products that have been recently updated within the last 24 hours you can click on this 24 hour vault now within arbitrage hero they also have this nice overview video so that you can see the information on how uh, to utilize this tool so if you ever need a refresher instead of coming back to this video you can go to their overview videos which is helpful but this 24 hour vault it includes only products that are retrieved and updated in the last 24 hours so sometimes it's uh, retrieving and updating products that may be three days old of information this is going to be within the last 24 hours so it's going to be the most up to date so let's say I wanted to get in here and we're going to look at uh, ace hardware and so I'm going to do that I'm going to use that custom filter for lead mining that I've already set up that I want to see uh, for products that I may store in my own lead tracker which I train on in my evergreen sourcing program I've talked about in this channel as well if you want any information on that that'll be in the description and then we're also gonna have a high match score if I wanted I could do a high and medium or just a medium here but I'm gonna leave the rest of this as is just to get as much as I can so I'm gonna click on update and you can see how fast that works so it updated those ace hardware items that have been updated in the last 24 hours very fast so we can see some of these different products that came through and the profitabilities the profit and ROI by the way is over here in green so this one has a dollar 89 profit uh, almost a 100% return on investment this one's a dollar 20 46% return on investment etc there were only eight entries for ace hardware that came back as a high match score and that were updated in the last 24 hours but if we were to go over to online arbitrage and I go to analyze products here I could actually then just look up ace hardware and we can take a look at how many aren't just within the 24 hour period so I'm going to leave this all the same leads mining click on update and now instead of eight products that were updated in the last 24 hours it's going to bring back quite a lot more and so this is valuable information if you're trying to source through and go through arbitrage hero for the best of the best products you're going to go to the 24-hour vault and see what's currently at a profitable price and how Amazon has it listed at but if you're interested in looking at all the products and you're okay with a little bit of outdated information you can see it's still loading all of the different deals that it has for ace hardware specifically but if I keep scrolling right now there's at least 486 products it may be loading more and more of those as it's going through its entire database okay I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this page so that way it doesn't have to uh, keep working in the background but you saw how much more that there was there there was eight in the 24-hour vault versus the 486 in the non 24-hour vault now if I come back to this 24-hour vault here which is great and I'm going to rerun this I want to show you one particular feature that I really love with this part of arbitrage hero there's a CSV download so you can just simply click on CSV and download those items that have been updated in the last 24 hours and add those to your lead tracker I'm going to go ahead and click on that and we can take a look at this and see what pulls up so here are those eight deals okay so we've got the supplier name we've got the supplier
entire URL there. We've got the uh, Amazon URL and the ASIN, as well as the cost, the profit, the return on investment of just those eight items, all right? They only have this on two parts of the, the tool right now. So it's a 24 hour vault where you can download the CSV for anything in the last 24 hours. They also have it um, in the reverse search feature, which is one of my favorite features of any sourcing tool to use. It's a reverse search. And I'll go through that in a second. You can see the CSV button down there. Additionally, I believe I actually already talked about this. They have it in favorited products. You can also see this on any of your favorited products. They don't allow you to download all of their leads inside of the analyze product section at this point. That CSV button is not there. So whenever you run 486 items from Ace Hardware, you will have to go through each one of those or favorite the ones that you want to end up downloading. But still a great use of the tool to be able to track your leads and find new stuff that you can purchase. So let's take a look at the reverse search features because there's three different ways that you can do this. One is by ASIN or URL. So you can uh, get Amazon URL to extract ASINs from. Let's say you had an amazon.com and you uh, searched for, actually, let's just do it real quick. Okay, so we're going to go here. We go to Amazon and I'm just going to simply search for men's moccasin slippers. All right, now it's probably not going to pull back anything, but I'm going to see if I copy this and I go back to Arbitrage Hero, if I can paste this in there and click on go. And then this should hopefully pull back some ASINs. It may find some. You can see there it found a bunch of different ASINs on that particular search page. I can click on update and it's going to allow me to search through this. If I put in leads mining filter, click update. If there's anything to show where they actually have suppliers for those ASINs, then that will work just fine. Okay. And so that's a great part about this. Now it's going to be a little bit less user friendly, I would say, than some of these other methods. And so that's why I like these other methods, uh, which is storefront. So you can simply go and collect the storefront ID for any different sellers that you're looking to do storefront stocking on. I actually have one here. So I'm going to click on update. And we're just going to simply see some of the products that came through from this seller's storefront. Now, what I love about this is that there's no limit on how many storefront stocking uses that you get. And so you can go through as many storefront IDs as you want. Or another option is to simply, uh, I'm going to copy this and we're going to take a look at Keepa really quick. Okay. And so I'm going to open this up and go to the Keepa data product finder. Now, whenever I go to data and then product finder, I'm going to clear this form. I'm going to then take that seller ID down to this seller ID section. And I can put this in there and you can see now I have zero products that came up for this current seller. However, if I include historical offers, it's going to now have 11,993 products from that seller, which is pretty cool because it's pulling back all of the historical offers from that seller specifically. And so I'm going to just go ahead and run this list. You can export up to 5,000 of these. And so I might as well uh, go ahead. I'm going to export a thousand just to not use up all my quota. You can do 5,000 at a time. It, it uses about 25% of your quota. But for these thousand here, I can then take this thousand ASIN list and I can put that into Arbitrage Hero, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. And so I'm going to export this as only ASINs and CSV. I'm going to come back to Arbitrage Hero here and I'm going to uh, pull this up and make sure that we get this file uploaded. So I'm going to upload a file. And I'm going to drop the one that I just pulled up right here. Here. I'm going to click on upload. Now it's going to go through those 1000 different ASINs. You can see the ASIN column pulled just fine. So I'm going to click on analyze ASINs. And now it's going to start working through those 1000 and it's going to pull matching suppliers for you. I'm going to take a look at one that I did earlier today with 5000 ASINs from this same exact method of the Keep a Product Finder. And I can click on this little view button right there. And out of those 5000 ASINs, it brought back, let me go to the very bottom to show you, it brought back 27 entries that matched that had a profitable level of some sort and above a 0% return on investment. Now, some of these are smaller in profit, but it's still good to take a look at these and store these in your own lead tracker. So I can just simply take this list and I could export this as a CSV file to import into Replen Dashboard or 3P Mercury or some other tool like Sourceflow.io. Now, while this one's working through it, I'm going to click on the button and see if it's got any yet. So it's already started to pull back some products. There's four entries. You can see that it's still working on it. It takes about five to 15 minutes, depending on the length of the list of ASINs, et cetera. But that's hugely powerful, right? Because we just took one storefront, exported all of their ASINs that they've ever had, as you saw inside of Keepa here, because we included the historical offers and we exported only a thousand of them because there were almost, there were over 11,000 for this particular seller. And now we've got it sourcing through those ASINs for us. So I love that feature of Arbitrage Hero. So from the standpoint of just sourcing, you can easily use the 24 hour vault to find the most updated items that have happened in the last 24 
24 hours and take a look at those from sourcing. You can use the analyze products to analyze all of their different leads, whether it's 24 hours or three days, five days, et cetera, but they're storing those leads for you and you can go through and find the best of the best. Or you can utilize the reverse search to go through individual ASINs or URLs through the storefront, through the file upload, as I just showed you. And you can also look at some of these other features. Now, one other thing that I do love is the uh, daily deals. It's kind of a bonus little leads list that they provide, okay? And so this is kind of nice because this particular lead was provided from Woodcraft for Amazon. It makes $3.59 profit or 35% return on investment. The fact that they provide almost like a, uh, an included leads list is very nice. Now, naturally, every other seller on Arbitrage Hero is seeing this, so I don't recommend using this as the thing that you're buying regularly, but you can use this to do the other methods that I just mentioned, right? So you can learn about, okay, Hartman Variety. Maybe I go look at more products from Hartman Variety inside of Arbitrage Hero. Or maybe I utilize Amazon. I open up this Amazon listing and I let the Keepa product finder load. And then I can go do storefront stocking from the different sellers that are on this particular listing, right? I can go into data here and uh, I'll let this load from Keepa and then click on offers. And then that's going to give me the ability to see all of the different sellers that are currently on the listing or have been. So we have 14 sellers on there. If I click on include historical results, it went up to 169. So 14, click on that. 169 sellers. And I can go through all of their catalogs, not just what they currently have, but what they've had historically with some of those keep updates. This is great. There's a never ending amount of options for sourcing now because of this. And so even if you don't use the daily deals that they provide inside of Arbitrage Hero, you can use those deals to your advantage to do storefront stocking, to do uh, any kind of new supplier uh, finding and research. You can look in new categories. You can find so much information just from these daily deals that they're providing, which is great. You know, you can even export these daily deals and track these on your own leads list if you want right now. And they have 37 in the daily deals uh, section of Arbitrage Hero as of the time of me recording this anyway. So that's just some of the great easy features for anyone to easily implement from Arbitrage Hero. You can also utilize their Google Chrome extension. They do have a couple things in beta and one thing that works fairly well in terms of, uh, you know, calculating the product analysis. And so you can watch the overview video there. And then there's also this Google Chrome scraping extension, which is pretty cool. And so there's a lot of great information. You can watch the overview video on the Google Chrome extension or on the Arbitrage Hero inspector for scraping other storefronts that you want Arbitrage Hero to do the research for you. So you can scrape a supplier's website and then go and have Arbitrage Hero look at those UPCs on Amazon to find ASINs that match those. And so it's a great tool. It is in beta though. And so, you know, you, it does take a little bit of setup and functionality to, to get that to work for you. Now, uh, the only other stuff in here is a repricer, which you can check out, inventory management as well. And there's some wholesale features for being able to analyze suppliers or store your suppliers, analyze the products and even your favorite wholesale products there. But ultimately for me, from a sourcing tool perspective, my favorite way is by using the file upload or the reverse searching or reverse sourcing features from any of the sourcing tools, Nepeto, Arbisource, Arbitrage Hero, Tactical Arbitrage, or any others that exist out there that I'll probably do more demo videos on. But again, if you're interested in checking out the free trial of Arbitrage Hero, you can simply go to askjimmysmith.com forward slash hero and check that out. It works in the USA and in the UK. You can see the supported stores for both marketplaces and there will be others in the future according to this site anyway. So uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, post them down below because I know the topic of sourcing tools is difficult to, to really try to figure out what you want to use. There's so many great ones and I recommend all of them. It just depends. The ones that matter are the ones you're going to use, okay? And so if you have questions, post them down below. I'm happy to help and I'll probably do a comparison video in the future of all of the ones that I've uh, made demos on. But if you want to check out the other demos, go for it on my channel. There's plenty of them uh, for Nepeto, Arbisource, Arbitrage Hero, and others. And some of the newest Keepa features as well. I recommend checking that out. If you're interested in a free Facebook group that you can be a part of for uh, e-commerce training, I recommend the My Silent Team Facebook group at bit.ly forward slash MST group. That link will be below and in the description. And if you're interested in my Evergreen Sourcing System program with over 70 different systems to help you scale your sourcing through utilizing tools like this and the Keepa Product Finder, then head over to askjimmysmith.com forward slash evergreen. I hope this video helped you and blessed you and you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.